When we enter the site, we see a very nice site. When we look at the site, I guess the appearance of this distribution is very good. Without further ado, let's download and install it directly on the virtual machine. The opening animation was nice, something we rarely see in such unknown distributions. But maybe this distribution uses Android. It directly recognized the virtual machine's display driver and appeared with a welcome screen that we were not used to. After accepting the terms of use, it asked me to open an online account, but there was an option to use a local account at the bottom. I clicked on it and created a local account. However, it would have been better if it had given this in the online account opening section. Yes, just as I guessed, the system is Android. When we look at the applications that come installed in it, the first thing we see is the file manager, and this is the stock file manager of Android. But it has a drop application. This is actually a very good thing. You can install it on your Android phone and share files very easily. When we look at the settings section, we see that there are standard Android settings. It uses 5 GB of RAM when idle. It may seem like it uses a lot, but Android is already an operating system that uses a lot of RAM. There is a Linux subsystem in the Android distribution. Yes, that means we can do everything we can do in Linux. But it didn't work for me, I couldn't open the subsystem. Maybe it didn't work because I was in a virtual machine. This distribution has its own AI. But it required me to create an account to use it. And I didn't want to create an account. When we look at the personalization options, it has everything an Android has. When we open the application written as Android, we see Android settings. And as we can see from here, this system still uses Android 9, very old. When we come to the storage section, it says that it has a 128 GB storage, but I gave it 40 GB. Why did it do this? I don't know either. It turns out that we need to download a program from the store to install the operating system on the disk. When I downloaded and tried to install it, the operating system was not installed on the disk and gave an error. When we came to the store, although I was surprised to see an application like VS Code at first, I was very disappointed to see that all the applications here actually work over the web. But it should have been like this anyway. I had high expectations. And whatever application is in this store, they all work from the web, and the browser that comes pre-installed on it is Chromium. This is actually a good thing. Considering that this system only works with web applications, there needs to be a Chrome-based browser. The best option is Chromium. When we look at the terminal, it only works when subsystem Linux is open. And since I can't open it, I can't show you the terminal. When we look at the notification panel, we are greeted by the calendar and some small settings. There are settings such as screen brightness, volume, and switching the system to dark mode. When we switch the system to dark mode, the system is green instead of dark. And that's it. Thank you for watching. To support me, please like the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to write something in the comments. See you in the upcoming videos.